Hello everyone, it's great to be here. I'd like to start out with a poem that I wrote the last time I came down to Monterey. It's kind of a little travel poem for you. It's called Monterey Days. I was shaken from my daydreams, staring at the sky, wondering what notes the clouds will play. I watched the birds flying free and wonder why can't we hit the road and lighten our load, just you and me. If you have the notion to move beyond the commotion of a life of mediocrity, stop cycling the city and hop aboard the locomotive to see what life may give. Among the rattle of the trucks, down the road beyond bad luck, swimming in the carpool lane, all my worries go down the drain. Rolling past the city scenes, open fields and small town dreams, kids climb cannons at the farmer's market, Power lines silhouette across sun-setting skies, illuminating the railroad ties. Panhandling squirrels roam across treetop homes of sleepy monarchs. Wandering through Victorian houses where great scribes were born, looking at pages torn from history. Exploring everywhere we could roam. Turn back around, time to go back to a place we call home. Mm -hmm. This next one is called The Snarkadelic Wordsmith Awaits the Penguin Whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the dark haze of the alleyway, every breath sends a chilly fog into the night. The stars long since blotted out of the sky by manufactured neon bulbs flickering in their inconsistent rhythms like an erratic heartbeat, spooked by unknown sounds and thoughts, unchained in incessant regurgitation, Lying awake at night between consciousness and dreaming, the mind rambles on like the city streets, never failing in their constant symphony of horns, the cries of those wandering souls long since forgotten by the society that claims to care, the politicians, photo ops, guilt-driven good deeds, the jaded jerks with their assumptions of panhandling no goodniks, passing by in their $2,400 suits, and brightly shined shoes, never giving a second thought to the down and out. Sleep is a luxury in these days of 24-hour shifts, electric suns destroying rhythms here since before time. Machines built without off buttons are clicking around the clock, coffee cups overflowing, endless refills of a caffeinated generation, walking past art and beauty in a haste, a waste, Laser focused on problems man-made and trivial, while eyes grow beet red, dead tired, and a race to see what machinery will wear down its rusted elements. In a final cry of acquiescence, its bones and bolts no longer fit to serve. Taxis screaming down the street in a hurried impatience. As I glance towards the calm dance of a paper bag flying in the wind, the ever-present ticking of the silver and crested pocket watch hanging from the stranger's trench coat shakes me from my dream. Here he has delivered in a simple whisper the keys that unlock that next lexicon, destined to pass from my weary fingers onto simple paper. As if on a movable cue by some divine puppetry, my reluctant muse, the penguin, disappears into the night, leaving this wordsmith waiting once again. <laughs> this next one is called Orion. Orion, oh Orion, my faithful companion, favorite constellation. I've gazed at you lying in Oklahoma gutters as a child lazing in the back seat of a car amid the farmland highways of Texas on journeys here and there and far from the mountains of New Mexico to wandering wine country roads, peeking beneath the wintry clouds, quiet and humble, drunk and loud. You remain a twilight guardian to this old soul since a young one. In the clear, crisp night, you remain, and I know I shall upon thee gaze again, your starry belt and hourglass figure. As you fight the night with rigor, 
I suppose with my given name, Diana, it was so faded that for me your, your stars would shine the greatest. As I wander this earth, it seems there you're waiting. So I grew up in Oklahoma and I used to go hang out by the railroad tracks uh, near the neighborhood that I lived in. And so I wrote a poem about the history of this railroad line. It's called Blanton, Kiowa Line. From Blanton up to Kiowa ran the Santa Fe. Her whistles lay silent to this very day. It all started in 1902 by the D.E.N.G., stretching across the land just as far as you could see. Passing through the towns that dotted the Great Plains, she carried many a man and grain, transporting stories of love and pain, even running up those great salt plains. For 90-odd years, her tracks they sang, as the street-crossing bells so sweetly they rang, where the Rock Island Line once met the Santa Fe, greeting passengers as they went on their way. Bought up by K&E back in 1997, this line has ceased to be gone to train track heaven. Old maps and books alone now speak of her station. Her tool house leaves no trace of its foundation. Her bridges have now fallen into the river. No more freight shall she deliver. The line still vivisects the landscape, a scarred reminder of past escapes. The land is divided by a barrier of green, a line of trees that once shielded folks from the heat, slices through squares of red dirt, hay, and wheat. In this land that once tilled itself to dust, only a few tracks remain, just left to rust. Now no one remembers old W.B. Blanton, nor the big white sign for his namesake junction. He worked the rails from the south to the west, once touted in the papers as one of the best. So when you're out walking that Pine Pass Trail, just remember the story of these mighty rails. If they could only talk the stories they'd surely tell of the Blanton Kiowa line that once ran so swell. <laughs> grew up in Enid, Oklahoma, and we have this railroad bridge where they've painted these shark teeth because trucks, for some reason, keep don't going down this road and slamming into the railroad bridge. So I wrote a humorous poem about that. It's called East Main Noms. In the downtown of Enid, that's my old hometown, stands a hungry railroad bridge of great renown. He's 11 foot four from his teeth to the ground. If you're a trucker, you best avoid East Main Street, because that old bridge is after a treat. He'll open you up like a can of sardines, because for the noms, he's quite keen. He's chewed on a cookie truck, followed by a soda truck to wash it all down. It doesn't matter if your cargo is edible. He's got a taste for yummy scrap metal. His teeth are ready to chomp on down. Most bridges say, don't feed the troll, but this bridge has got its own soul and he's ready to make you roll. So if you find yourself on East Main, staring into his mighty white teeth, you best turn your rig around, or all the local folks are gonna laugh you out of town, along with your autograph upon a ticket that says, pay attention, clown. Let's all raise a toast to the shark bridge our town created as he opens a semi of beer with that smile serrated. <laughs> My dog recently passed away, so I'd like to read a poem that I wrote about her. Her name was Heidi, and she was a big German shepherd. When I was 21, then a rather skinny one, you crawled upon my bed and gave me kisses on my head. You were the kindest, cutest puppy. I watched over you that summer between my last college semesters. You grew and grew and grew and grew, giving everything around a chew, including my camera strapped to as I tried to photograph you. You got so very strong that when we'd walk, you just pulled me along. A dog so healthy and mighty that you knocked down our stationary bike. You even tore up a backyard cushion. I spent hours picking up the cotton. You learned to stand on your hind legs, taking a drink from the bathroom sink. These silly moments will never be forgotten. Later that year, I'd moved away, but I'd still call you my dog. For every time I came home to visit, you'd stand up to greet me with a kiss nearly knocking me over with your glee. I never saw you greet anyone else like this. Seeing you always gave me bliss. 
You take up most of the tiny twin bed, insisting to sleep there with me. The news of your passing is a bummer. I'll miss you so much, my dear Heidi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This next one is called Phonographic Memories. Music is like reading a book while dancing. Do you have phonographic memories? A song can set your mind spinning towards understanding. You'll question the ground upon which you're standing. Standing at the center of the apocalypse, being soothed by the tunes that cross your lips. Do not worry, merely sing. You'll be carried away by the joy it brings. I want to see a rainbow. I want to see starlight. I want to see the birds soar with all of their might. I feel my soul pirouette as I sing, enlivened and renewed by the joy it brings. I spend a lot of time hanging out in downtown Vallejo, so one evening I was inspired to write this poem called Scenes of Old Town. Two Hebrews in cowboy hats, dancing in the townhouse, down in Old Town, drinking brews and clowning around. Hanging out in Old Town, that's where everything goes down. Singers, poets, artists and clowns, making their way, hanging around. I tip the folk singers with poetry. God, sometimes life is a thing of beauty. After grooving to the tunes of a busker by the cafe, he said, poets are mystics in a way. I saw a kid flash a peace sign, as he went on his way. <laughs>